Hey guys, welcome back um, to Creative Tap. It's me, John, and today I'm going to be showing you. Let me turn my grid off. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this sort of futuristic kind of uh, orb. Okay, all we've done is scattered objects across a mesh, and then we've got this cool orb, and you can add some glows to it as well if you want. Okay, so um, let's get started. Um, I'm going to go file a new scene. Um, save changes, don't save. Okay. Right, um, I'm going to turn my grid back on actually, there we go. Um, first of all, I'm going to go to my modeling menus, uh, go to, ah, didn't need to actually, go to um, create polygon primitives, platonic solids. Um, I'm going to scale this up just a touch, like so. Um, now I'm going to go to modeling, mesh, <clears throat> and where is it, edit mesh, no sorry, mesh, smooth, and let's type 4 in here. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got this mesh with these um, fairly evenly spread points, not completely even, but you know, this, this, this is quite it's all right. It's usable. Um, <clears throat> okay, next thing I want to do is I want to create a sphere. Just click up here to create a sphere, and that sphere is there you go, there it is. Um, what I want to do next is actually, I want to get my outline on the side. So if I go to Windows and Outliner, I'm just going to drag this so it's on the side like so. Okay, now with, so just to kind of talk through what's going on, P-Solid is our sort of base mesh and our sphere is what we're going to use now. I'm going to bring this sphere down to a scale of 0.1 in the X, Y and the Z. Okay, so like so. So we've got a small one. Um, next what I want to do is with the sphere selected, come to the animation tool bar and go to mesh and create mesh network. If you're using an older version, you may have to just go to create and it should be in your somewhere mesh network down there. Um, but otherwise, go to animation, create mesh network with that sphere selected. Okay, what well, you'll see, it'll just, it basically replicates the sphere. Now, if we come to the distribute node of the mesh object, um, what you can do is drag this solid, so, sorry, put mesh back on, um, come down to where it says mesh. And if we middle mouse drag this platonic solid to the input mesh by here, what you'll see is our spheres have started being dotted over the solid, over the platonic solid. So what we can do, we've got different modes, we've got vertex, um, you can come up here and kind of increase the count. Um, but what I'm going to do is go to vertex and then flood mesh and you'll see what will happen now once my computer loads. It's completely flooded the mesh, okay? Um, so every single vertex has now got a point. Um, what I want to do is turn off my um, platonic solid, so just select it in the outline, I go shift H, so, sorry, control H, and I also want to bring the size of the sphere down. So just click our sphere um, in here, and let's change this to 0 0.05, copy that across, into each of these and there you go we'll have something that looks nicer now so if I turn my grid off okay actually I think I'm going to turn this down to 0.3 even smaller um, so 0.3 point 0.3 okay and now what we'll have is this sort of weird sort of space kind of looking orb okay so, um, cheers for tuning in. I'm going to do a second part of this tutorial where I show you how to make this actually rotate. And yeah, so see you in part two of this sci-fi orb tutorial with Maya Mash. See you in a bit. 